Hey there, friend. So happy you found me. My name is Lisa Concepcion, otherwise known as Lisa the Love Coach on Instagram. If that's your jam, you can follow me there. But you found this channel, and I'm happy that you did. This video is about forgiveness. Mainly forgiveness of a person that really did you wrong. Maybe they cheated on you. Maybe they broke your heart. And you're finding it really hard to forgive them. Um, it could even be a parent. It could be somebody in your life that you have had massive, massive conflict with and you're feeling really down about and you are hearing from everybody that you need to forgive them. So I'm going to hopefully make you feel a little bit better about this whole forgiveness thing. And I'm going to share some stuff that might help you. I'm hopeful that it does. And if you'd like, at the end of this video, you can tell me about what you're going through when it comes to forgiveness and what you want to overcome. And you can do that by taking a free love life assessment that I offer at lovequestcoaching.com. That's lovequestcoaching.com. So when you get to the end of the video, I'll tell you again and remind you where it is. But for now, let's dive into the content, shall we? Let's talk about forgiveness. So let's say there's somebody in your life who did something to you, whether it was recently or whether it was back when you were a kid, and you're harboring these resentments and you are willing to reach forgiveness. You're like, you know what? I can't do it. I feel like I can't do it, but I'm so like bogged down by this energy, right? You feel sluggish, tired. Maybe you're um, finding that there are things in your life that are just not working, like you're, you're feeling blocked. It could be in your success of, of your business, it could be in, in your career, in your relationships. When we are stuck when it comes to forgiveness, we often see stuckness appearing in other aspects of our life. These things become energy blocks. And so it's very important that we learn how to rid ourselves of these energy blocks. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to call up your ex-boyfriend and be like, hey, you know what? You cheated on me and I caught you and I forgive you. No, it doesn't mean anything of that. Forgiveness comes between you and you. It's a piece that you reach within yourself. You might not be talking to somebody again because they broke your heart and you're like, you know what? You don't get access to me anymore. So the very important thing to understand about forgiveness is that forgiveness does not mean condonement. It doesn't mean that you give this person access to you again. A lot of times this comes up when we're dealing with abusive relationships, mainly codependent narcissistic dynamics, where you'll have a codependent thinking that if they forgive that narcissistic spouse or person in their life, parent, whatever, that that means that they open the door up again to be controlled and manipulated and hurt again. It does not. So what forgiveness means is that you are able to put forth boundaries. Does not mean condonement. You can go no contact with somebody who's toxic in your life. You could crazily, I mean, full on limit the communication between them. Oftentimes I see this happen with a lot of the people I coach who have issues with parents, things that they want to forgive with their parents. And they know that if they give their overbearing mother or narcissistic father too much access, they're going to come on in and try to run their life. And then they become small. They feel like they're 12 years old all over again. So this is what we don't want to do. What we want to do is understand the trauma, the thing that requires the forgiveness about, go there, be with it, and show up for that wounded version of yourself as your higher self. Meaning, let's say a year ago, you were in a relationship, you thought this was gonna be marriage, oh my God, this person's everything to me, and then they betrayed you, awful. And if you're finding this video because of that, I want to just say, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. It's ridiculous. But you will come out stronger, I promise you. Now, let's say that did happen and you have a really hard time reaching forgiveness with this person. 
but you want to because you want to love again. It's been a year, you're broken up, you're over it, but you have fear that every single person is going to do the same thing to you again. And so sometimes what's really good to do is go back to the version of you then, a year ago, who received this awful news or this awful information that this person betrayed you. And you sit down with that version of yourself and you talk to them with love and kindness and you show up for them and you say, it's all going to be okay. I am here for you. They are not going to be here anymore. But you and I, we're together until death and beyond. I am always with you. I will never leave you. I will never betray you. And I promise you that moving forward, I am going to protect you from people like that because we are not here to be taken advantage of, to be manipulated, to be coerced. We're here to represent ourselves and advocate for ourselves and be joyous and harmonious and peaceful in our life and in our relationships. So when you start to learn how to talk to yourself, your wounded self, the part of you that's still hurting and, you know, back there, and you go to that moment in time in history where that hurt happened and you're able to show up for them, you're going to feel so much peace when you learn how to do this. I promise you, I had to do so much work on this for myself and now I help other people do the same. So I am Lisa Concepcion, certified professional love life coach, founder of Love Quest Coaching, where you can go, lovequestcoaching.com, to get the free love life assessment. If any of this resonated with you and you struggle with forgiveness, whether it's yourself, a parent, a former boyfriend, girlfriend, even a former employer, let's get it handled, let's get it sorted, because it is blocking you from the success and the love and all the wonderful things that you're worthy of. Much love to you, and I look forward to connecting with you again. Thanks.